Hi, my name is Kyle Coomer. I'm the assistant principal here at EC3. Um, just coming to you today to um, cover our eighth grade tour week. Uh, so we have had middle school groups from North Middle, Bluegrass, JT Alton, East and West Harden, all in our building over the past several days so that they can kind of um, have their first taste of what it is exactly that we do here. Um, although EC3 has been here for about eight years, there are still those in our schools and uh, you know these kids coming up may not be familiar with what we do. So we're excited to show them our automotive program, our culinary, our health sciences, media arts, welding and more so that they can have an opportunity to know when they go into scheduling later this year for their freshman years that um, EC3 might be something that they'd be interested in. Um, also, it's an amazing opportunity for our current students. We have tour guides that are getting an opportunity to um, basically serve their school and, and uh, can they step out of their shell so that they can um, lead a large group of, of uh, eighth graders around our building and speak to them um, and give them you know, just information about what we do. So we're excited. We love the opportunity to do that and hopefully it answers a lot of questions about EC3 in our programs. All right, so this is our main lab. We like to call it our internship lab or even our project lab. What we do in here is we do a lot of our fun things when it comes to the hardware. If you see back there, that rack over there is actually something that Mr. Allen was working on. And that, he's just trying to get a server up and running so that we can learn virtual machines before we, can act before we actually like work with them. Over here, you see two, all right, you see two of our interns are, ac are actually working on both of these computers, just trying to get them up and running. We've had difficulty with them for about a week now. Uh, I just don't know why, they just don't want to turn on. Real quick as well, how many of you all saw the TVs when you were walking in these buildings? So those TVs are actually programmed by these little devices called Raspberry Pis, which I think might interest you as well, is actually the program, or, I'm sorry? I know what that is actually. Yeah, Linux, everything like that, Python? Uh, no, I meant the Raspberry Pi. Yeah, oh, I was meaning like the, that's the computer language we use for it, is Linux and stuff like that. Oh. Uh, real quick, also, if you see on that back TV, is actually, it's running a Raspberry Pi. It's running Minecraft and stuff like that. Another thing, too, is we offer two different internships like Mr. Allen was talking about. Our internships are with Brandenburg Telecom, which this one is unpaid. And what you do is you just hook this router up to that left, or to what we have on that left screen over there, and you just see if it works. If it does, it sends out a signal, everything like that. You send it back to the company, and everything's good. If not, then it gets scrapped. Real quick, I'll also show you this is one of the things you get to do as a programmer, is you get to program these little things called Bobots. It's not much, but it still does take a lot just to program all of this stuff. Our other internship is also with the Hardin County School Board themselves. If you all have noticed, we went one-to-one -one this year, which means for every one student is one Chromebook. And with that can, be, can come lots of damage. And what we mean by that is broken screens, broken keyboards, everything like that. And to show you one of these methods is Robert. What he's going to do is he's going to take a screwdriver to the back of this Chromebook and he's just going to push on the back of it and pop out that keyboard. I'll let you pass this around and just see it real quick. Something that I will say is that that internship is actually a paid internship. What we've experienced is about $400 to $500 extra a month on top of our, on top of our after school jobs such as you know working at Walmart, fast food, all that stuff. So it's it's just really good experience on top of also getting paid, which I don't know who wouldn't. I will also say, please do not do that to your Chromebook. I do not want to go to the Annex building tomorrow and see that there was a broken Chromebook with a broken keyboard snapped in half from JTA. I will not be the one responsible for it. I will put full responsibility on you because I'm giving you this warning. So real quick, do I have any quick questions about any of the four pathways that we offer here? All right, so real quick, I will say, if you want to be here in one of these pathways as soon as possible, it's going to be your sophomore year. The reason why is because you have to take either digital literacy part A and B your freshman year. So when March comes around, if you want to be here, make sure to put that on there. And with that, I'll go ahead and hand you over to your tour guide. 
So you all have Mr. Vaughn over at North Harden for Engineering 1, Engineering 2. And then your junior and senior year, you can come here and take more specialized courses. I'll let Isaiah get into all that and kind of talk about what to expect your freshman year and all the way, all the way throughout. Go over, go over and take over. Yeah, so a lot of y'all might be wondering, what is PLTW or Project Lead the Way Engineering exactly? Well, this class is a thing of three different courses that you can take. So over all four years of high school, you can either take mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, or civil engineering, depending on which is your field of interest. Me personally, I'm interested in the field of electrical engineering. I'll get to that in a minute, but I'm sure y'all want like more general idea of what kind of classes you'll be taking. So if you want to take this class at EC3, you're gonna have to take two years of prerequisites at your home school. My home school is Central Harden. Y'all will feed into a different school than me, obviously, but the classes will be somewhat similar because of the curriculum. So your freshman year, I don't know exactly what y'all will be doing, but from my experience, we did a lot of hands-on work, a lot of designing on 3D software, such as the program I've pulled up right here. So as you can see, I designed some sort of sword here as an example for y'all to see. This was not an actual project I did. This is just an example like for a visual aid to kind of show y'all something you could make on this program. And I would say as you're doing like your engineering classes, make sure that if you're serious about it, that you're taking really high math classes. So my junior year, I took pre-cal and this year I'm gonna be taking calculus because I want to pursue the engineering pathway. And Keep in mind though, even if you're not the greatest at math, your teachers will help and work with you. And on top of that, if you're not the greatest at math or don't like care for it, not everyone that goes into the PLTW pathway has to become an engineer. However, if you do get the certificates that you're working on getting your senior year, it'll look great for your high, um, on your high school transcript when your colleges are looking at you. Another thing that's very consistent over the four years you'll be taking these classes is the engineering design process. So whether it be you're building a VEX robotics robot, you're working on a circuit, whether you're working on a circuit board or doing some type of like work building a vehicle, you're always going to start out with defining a problem, right? So you'll figure out what exactly you want to do. And then after you define your problem, you're going to make prototypes and ideas to try to solve that solution. And after that, you're going to test these prototypes. And after you test them, you're going to refine your solution. And eventually, you'll get to the point to where you'll present your solution. So an example of this is freshman year, we had to take an object and take it apart and build each piece on this online program. Like, this would be one piece right here. And you'd put it all in assembly and put it together and show your teacher how it's built and how it works and explain in your engineering notebook what to do. So that would be kind of, as I said, my field of interest is electrical engineering. So I would know a lot about these breadboards and circuit boards. When you are working with a breadboard, you're, it's a prototyping board, okay? So you wouldn't want your final circuit on here. This is the test, see if it works. So say I wanted to make something really complicated that has like a ton of wires on it like this. And I was like, okay, it's not working. This, this LED, I don't know if y'all can see it, but this LED is not coming on. Then I would have to rebuild it before I put it on a circuit board and soldered it together because now it won't come apart. Like the wires won't come off and the LEDs are stuck. Also, I haven't mentioned this yet, but a cool thing about the program Autodesk Inventor is you can 3D print or CNC mill almost anything you make. So this little sword I made, we could take it on back to the bench mill and you could put a block of aluminum on there and he could CNC it out. These objects are an example of that and these were all CNC'd on that machine back there. So I would say what are some questions y'all have surrounding this class and kind of what you'd be doing? Do y'all have any questions about that? No? No questions? Okay. So, I'll continue with what I was saying about electrical engineering. And I would also like to mention that your senior year will be the year where you test all your skills that you've learned over the past three years and attempt to make, you know the project we're doing where we're gonna 
solve a problem and put it all together and in inventor file. Yeah, this year, after we passed the industry cert exam. Yeah, I don't know what it's called. So, I would say, Connor, where is the kid that is Vex? So he can ex So do you want to tell us about like the rest of the design on the robots? Because I know the general of how they're designed, but I don't specify in Vex Robotics particularly. And I know you're working on a robot right now, so what, what's that process like? Don't mind the woodworking class above us. Well, do you sit, is it difficult? Depends on the person. So, I would assume that it's pretty difficult because as far as I know with VEX, you have to design it on the computer, you have to have a notebook person, and you're trying to complete a challenge in the ring. And after you do that, you're also going to have a programmer. You're going to have to have someone that sits down and programs every little thing that, that robot does. Which I, in my personal opinion, I would say that would be my least favorite part because I remember programming my sophomore year and it was not exactly the funnest thing. But I will say if you really like hands-on work and you like math, this is definitely the class for you and this is what class you'd want to take. And we So that's the cool thing about EC3. Whenever you graduate, you have so many options. Me personally, I'm planning on going to Louisville Speed School and using my engineering experience here to start off a little bit ahead of the other students there. But you could, so say you got your industry cert exam on this Autodesk Inventor. You could do co-ops with an engineer that uses 3D design software instead of just going straight to college. If that's, if that's, that's like a preference thing. But that's the pathway that I'm choosing to take. And do you have any more questions? Okay. I believe we're out, about out of time, so this is, would be a great class for y'all, and I hope y'all will have a great day.